Hey guys, JD presents 9345. As promised, I'm going to start, you know, doing more reviews. So, um, today we'll be reviewing set 75196, the Alien vs. Tyseler Micro Fighters. This is a dual pack. At least a couple of these back in like 2003, yeah, like a couple years ago. So, yeah, this is age of 6 to 12, has 188 pieces, two minifigures, and costs $20 in the US. Now, let's start with the minifigures. First of all, start with the alien pilot. Now in this review, I'm going to be calling her Talia Lintra because of course, because um, I believe that is this minifigure. They just give her the name as an alien pilot, but it's Talia Lintra due to a couple reasons. First of all, Talia Lintra, Talia Lintra's A wing is blue. This A wing is blue, and like overall with the outfits and stuff, they look the same. Apologize for the noises. The cat is getting annoying. But yeah, I like the olive green pilot suit that they gave Talia. Looks really nice. And the helmet is in alien pilot mold. You can see the um, resistance sign. And, you know, the dual molding of the red and the white is very, very nice. You can see some, like, uh, things over here. Just a lot of great detail. And on the back, you can see some more gray printing. And she has an alternate expression of, like, when she's in her alien. So that's nice. Sorry about the cat, guys. Next up, we have Kylo Ren. And it's nice to get him in a cheap set like this, you know. Um, before this set, he, the cheapest set of human was, I believe, a $50, $60 Lego set. Now it's in a $20 set. This is the Last Jedi version. You can see by a scar on his head. And the face print is pretty nice. It makes him look even more like an emo teen. <laughs> Over here, I like the shine on his um, clothes. It looks kind of like chainmail, which I think is really nice. And the printings overall is very nice. Again, more back printing. Here's the alternate expression. Now, this suits Kylo Ren a ton. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's get on to the side build before we get on to the ships. So, this is like a side build to get, like, these are little steps to get in the A-Wing. And, um, you have a little clip over here to place... Maybe a weapon of sorts, like perhaps Kylo Ren's lightsaber, you know, can just fit up there or something. And over here, you have a wrench to repair the A-Wing, and you have an extra missile for a function that will come soon. So now we're going to start with the A-Wing. And this is really the, just the best out of the two. It looks just like an A-Wing. It's just a beautiful little model. For what it is, they give you a little... Um, up here, they give you a little bit of a windshield screen, which is nice. And, of course, I wish they would, uh, use the new piece where it's a 2x2 two two plate, modified plate with, um, only two tiles in it. That would have made this even better, but here's how Talia looks in this. And the engines look very nice and detailed. You can move them slightly like that, if that's a function you want to call it. And, um... Again, the underside looks amazing. You have these flick fire missiles, which flick them enough and they fire. Yeah, not the best feature. So that's really with the healing, a great build. Now we go on to the TIE silencer. I, I hate the TIE silencer, really, because it just looks, so the wings are all right, you know, but just this bottom part makes it a little bit stubby and annoying. It makes the wings look horrible. But you can see in this one, it has a printed control piece, and it does use the 2x2 two two modified plate I was talking about. And I like the translucent red on the front. And you can move the wings up and down a little bit. Yeah, I hate this, really. Again, you have more flick fire missiles. I'm going to show you. You can either push them like this. I actually fired really well. Or flick them. Yeah, it's not the best function, of course, but they do these in a lot of these, which is a shame. Now let's take a look at the final verdict. So overall, it's an okay Lego set, really. You get one great micro fighter and one decent at best micro fighter. Um, if you're again like, if you just want to get the A1 pilot, then I suggest you get this. You know, the builds are okay and everything. 
for a micro fighter build it's pretty good i guess i mean for micro fighter wise if you're looking to get good micro fighters this would be a good set i'd have to rate this a b minus just the minifigures are great this tie silencer though is just horrible so yeah that's the end of the review